radar for an anomaly right now, but um, uh, with the students to identify these uh, features that the uh, actors can uh, discharge the service, and um, then also the uh, service contamination can get down to the aquifer, and um, also <coughs> trying to find uh, the likelihood that there'll be um, uh, subsidence of the structures, and uh, looking for areas where uh, there have been uh, signals in the past Probably a lot of the uh, reason for the uh, loss of shallow groundwater and surface water going uh, into the aquifer is the uh, pumping of the underlying aquifer. And uh, one interesting thing I, I get at that is that these, um, in some cases, these, these subsiding features and singles are kind of blind. And there's uh, like the guy's house where there's a crack, there's some effects of um, just the, the, the sediment loading, very gradual process, but it also play a role. Um, so that can increase the likelihood that you'll get uh, more of uh, a problem. And one of the, uh, John's asking me, we, 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 uh, we're actually commenting on a plan to develop and put a subdivision in not too far from where uh, one of the students did a thesis on 